It's estimated that more than 3 million Americans are living with Crohn's or colitis, painful, debilitating, and incurable diseases which attack the digestive system. This weekend, the Wisconsin chapter of the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation is hosting its annual walk to raise awareness about the disease impacting 40,000 Wisconsin families. And Leslie Del Ponte and Evan and Jake Reisinger join us now to talk about the walk and how you can get involved. Thank you all so much for coming and joining Thank us. Thanks, Thanks for, for having, having us. us. Yeah. So Leslie, if we can start with you, 40,000 uh, families impacted here in Wisconsin. What does that look like? It is a lot of families that are impacted, like the ones we have today. Mm -hmm. um, and they vary in what the disease looks like. So that's what makes it so hard for us. And our foundation is one of its only kinds. And we are doing research to find a cure for this disease. When you say we're one of a kind, mm -hmm. what does that mean? We are the only foundation in the whole U.S. that does this and finds we do fundraising and we raise money to find a cure for this disease. And all of the research uh, that you do, it, it helps families uh, throughout their day-to-day -day process as far as like medicine, mm -hmm. treatment, mm -hmm. your walk this week or next month, yes. your walk next month yes. will help that research. Yes, Sunday, June 2nd is our walk and that does help. So more than 80 cents to every dollar goes back into our mission, which is finding a cure for Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. So families who participate, <laughs> what can they expect uh, to see when they come to the walk on June 2nd. It is a casual stroll, we call it. We take a nice walk around South Shore Park, around the lake. Um, we have a festival, we have face painting, balloon animals. We have a lot of fun stuff going on for kids. We have pie a GI where people can put whipped cream pies in their GI's face. <laughs> Um, so just a lot of fun and just a way for people like Evan to get together with other people to realize that they're not alone. And Evan and Jake, I want to get to you. Evan, you're 14 years old. You mm -hmm. were diagnosed when you were 12. Yeah. How has your life changed since your diagnosis two years ago? Um, well, when it was going on, I lost a lot of weight and I had no appetite or anything. But now I've gained all my weight back and more. So I'm feeling great right now. When you say I've gained all my weight back, and I feel great. How does that make you feel? I mean, what was what is the difference there? What did you feel like? Um, well, I mean, I couldn't do any activities mm -hmm. like baseball was going on at the time and I wasn't playing much. Yeah. But ever since then, everything's been great. It's been great. And you're <laughs> getting ready to go to high school. You'll be able to play hockey. You're playing hockey mm -hmm. now. Uh, for you, Dad, for him to now, he lost a lot of weight. Yeah. And he's getting ready to play high school uh, hockey. Yeah. How does that make you feel? Oh, it's great. I mean, he had great doctors and great support staff once we found diagnosis. Um, like Evan talked about, he had lost weight. He was in the baseball, during baseball season, he had abdominal pains whenever he tried to run, and he was constantly fatigued. Um, once we got into uh, see Dr. Mayer, was his uh, pediatric GI doctor, we went in and he had a bunch of tests done that week and immediately started treatment, got the diagnosis the next week. And he goes in for infusions every, once every eight weeks. But since that time, we've pretty much lived, we've been very fortunate because I know others that have these conditions and these diseases don't have it, but Evan's been living a very normal life. Yeah. And we're very lucky. And you said that you're very thankful to the doctors, but mm -hmm. a lot of this also wouldn't be right. uh, possible without community support. For right. the people who come to the walk, what does that mean to you? It, just the support of the community. I think one of the things that's, this is, for having him go through this as a parent, it's opened up our eyes and realized how many people are affected. Mm -hmm. And I know you talked about the numbers, but just from walking around after we get the diagnosis, um, friends, friends of friends, and other people in the community will say, well, I have, so I have a relative or I have a friend that's been affected by this and they had to have surgeries. And um, it's really um, overwhelming to see how many people are affected and it's good to see people coming together to uh, support Crohn's and Colitis Foundation and try to get a cure. Well, hopefully more people will come out and support you because it is one in 100 Americans yes. who are living with this mm -hmm. disease. You can find more information on the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation Walk on our website. Just head to TMJ4.com.